guys, welcome back to the Swill Entertainment channel. All right, so we're gonna try a newer game here for us here on the channel. It's called Clash of Beast. All right, so it's a tower defense game. If you guys like those types of games, let me know in the comments down below. And if this is the first time you guys have joined the Swill Entertainment channel, this is what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, guys. Make sure you guys consider subscribing and don't forget to drop a like on the video. All right, so now we're gonna do a good old tower defense. And it's a top-down looking game here. And I'm actually liking that um, that style. Because most top tower defenses are probably almost a side scroller. I know someone's gonna probably fact check me. They get they probably got a game that's pretty much similar to this. But you know, it is what it is. Alright, so it's got fire breath. The beast fires a continuous stream of damage. Touch and drag to attack. Oh, that's kinda that's kinda cool. You just throw fire around. Whichever way you gotta go. Oh, okay. Just gonna keep hold on, hold on to it. So I'm about to say. You're not gonna do any damage if you have to keep swiping like this. All right, so he's auto walking. Just so you guys know, all I'm doing is controlling the fire, which I might add is pretty easy so far. Now I know at certain levels this gets a little bit harder. Man, oh man, look at this go, boy. All right, so it looks like we got a good old victory right there. All right, your town is clear. Now the real test begins. All right, one down, a continent to go. Your mom assigned us a solid starter base and a ferocious new beast to help. Let's get conquering. Let's see, earn more stars. Let's keep this going, man. Keep it going, keep the fire going. Tap and hold to destroy. Here we go. I've never been a huge fan of tower defense games, but there's a couple of them that I do have my have on my radar. All right, tap the base to destroy it. Oh! That's what's up. That's what's up, Mr. Ifrit here. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be training our Vorgoth. All right, so he's trained, so what now? All right, so he's got explosive shield. Generates a shield around the beast that decreases damage received and generates a damaging AOE blast when it breaks. Nicely done. With that victory, we have a breathing or breathing room to fix our base. Okay, so they got a base building going on in here too. Okay. I'm gonna restore the gold mine. It's gonna take about a minute. Okay, so now we got some gold coming in here. Steady amounts of gold. Gold supply secured. Now for the really important part, more beasts. All right, so enter the bestiary. Let's enter. All right, so we got Vorgoth already, and they're trying to get us to get Talvara. So what does Talvara do? Forge Soul Stone, Summon Beast. All right, so let me see. Common Talvara. More beasts and bigger base. This is a fantastic start. I have a few ideas for your next steps, but I think it's safe to leave things in your hands. Good luck. Yes, leave it in my hands so I can see exactly what's going on with this. All right, so it looks like we can also do a essence well. Harvest the mysterious energy of the lands here. So let's restore that for 50 gold. I think we do have it. Not really sure. Yes, we do. We have 1,050. All right, so we'll tap to complete. And then we're gonna go ahead and harvest that. City level two, woo! Leveling up, guys. Leveling up. All right, so right now we do have locked the trading post. Collect rewards from the trading post. It must be level, at least level three to construct, upgrade more buildings. 
And then we also have lock the workshop. Craft items there. And then here, the Soul Forge. Let's go ahead and upgrade the Soul Forge. All right. Uh, forge Soul Stones of Beast here by binding the spirits of their kin. The more we understand of the connection between these creatures, the more beasts we'll be able to summon. All right. So we're going to be able to summon these guys. And yeah, we'll go from there. All right. So I think that's going to be a good... um good spot here guys so far this is this is seeming pretty cool now we also have a section here request all right destroy enemy base we could do that i think hopefully spells are important let's see target has one or more god definitive affinities active okay okay let's hack this base Let's go. I'll take both of these in there. I think we have to pick one. I guess we have to pick one. All right, so we're going against Wilner. Or Neris. I'm like, what? Who named me Wilner? Who did it? All right, let's go. Let's see what this one's got to do. And I guess we can swap out as needed, possibly, with the dragon. Because right now, this guy looks kind of weak. Let's swap. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Let's go. So 20 seconds to swap? What kind of mess is that? All right, so here we go. We're getting beat up right now. That's okay. We're going to be doing some more beating up. So I guess once you have the fire going, it'll burn. Oh, it burns to a certain extent. Okay. I see how it goes. I sees it. Destroy the bridge. Go. All right, so there we go. So this is a pretty good, um, solid thing here so far. I'm actually liking this. I definitely want to deep dive this and see some more. Um, if you guys want to see some more as well, I just definitely hope to see you guys on the next future episode. If you guys want to see this on our rotation, please let me know in the comments below. If you guys have been playing this for a while, definitely offer some tips in the comments also. But either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a blessed day. Peace.